Well, welcome back. Our next guest has a passion for football that's taken him all the way to the NFL. That's right. Break, uh, Blake Prohl. Oh, it's tough to say. He's a wide receiver for the Minnesota Vikings, but when he's not on the gridiron, he's actually singing. Take a look. A season-ending ACL injury a few years back led him to discover a deep love of music. He posted a video on Instagram and TikTok, and it, of course, took off. And now Blake is getting ready for his first headlining show. It's happening this weekend. And before that, he's joining us this morning in studio. We appreciate you being here. Thank you so Good much morning. for having me. Thank yeah, you, you were guys. saying, this is cool. I'm like, yeah. you, you're, you're in the NFL. <laughs> like, everything should be like, super cool. <laughs> yeah, I love cool. this stuff. I love stuff like this. Thank well, you, guys. Yeah, we're glad that you're here. Okay, so take us back. And yeah. How how did the, wait, you your family didn't know you could sing, mm -mm. and you didn't really even know you could sing. Yeah. I was gonna say I didn't even know either. Um, how was that like? For yeah. The, like, how was that possible? <laughs> well, I was so just hooked up on football. My dad played football for a while in the league, so you know when I was growing up, that's what put food on our table, and that's I wanted to do what my dad did, what my brother did. So I was just hooked up on sports. Like yeah. I didn't really care about music or choir or taking any lessons like it was all just sports like basketball baseball football and so growing up I just it just never kind of crossed paths until late so what was the I mean you had to have an aha moment yeah what was the aha moment the aha moment like oh I can sing yeah well for me like I I didn't know I could sing. Obviously, I, I knew I could like hold a tune because like in the shower I'd be singing. I was like, I'm like hitting these notes kind of, but like I don't know <laughs> if it's good. So um, I think I, I don't like to like let other people validate it for me, but I think me posting on social media was kind of a test for that, and I got like a big response. And I've grown a lot just since I posted a year and a half ago, however long it was ago, um, just like t teaching myself and and. Um, and having some mentors through it but yeah I think it was just kind of just it was super random like it, there's really no like equation or like formula to it like I'm still figuring it out now but I have like a whole band of supporters I couldn't ask for better friends and supporters around me so you're getting ready for the season yep. training camps a few weeks yeah you're away. still a Minnesota Viking yeah, yeah. By the way. <laughs> like yeah. you're still in it now you're getting ready for this big show yep how do you kind yeah, of balance yeah that's a lot it how's, is how's the summer been yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very busy it's very busy um it what i do is i i wake up early and i i have a whole like training regimen for football um every day and i run i lift like all that stuff study my playbook get ready for camp and then i also and then kind of in the afternoon is when i shift i kind of i'm either at the studio or i'm like rehearsing or writing so it's kind of like a morning and in like afternoon afternoon night thing where i like i just like switch off in between so it's like a it's kind of like a schedule dual life yes pretty much mm -hmm. yeah yep so you you have concert uh, concert coming up first is this like your first public performance um, no, I actually had like my, a performance on Monday night two days ago um, with Maverick City Music, which was really really cool. How'd it go? It was awesome. Good. It was it was a big stage, so it was kind of nerve wracking because, like I said, I I still don't exactly know what I'm doing like technique wise, but um, people seem to love it, and I love it. So and it's super fulfilling for me um, to see people's faces and you know connect with them through music and like my lyrics. So this will be like one of the first ones it'll be my first like my show like it'll be the first time that happens yeah so like when you play football you're part of a team yes so yeah. the pressure i mean while you want to do your best you know it's yeah. you have a whole team surrounding you when you're a solo musician mm -hmm. it's, it's different it's just you up there <laughs> it's I feel so like different that's a, lot, a different pressure it is it it's it, uh, somebody asked me this the other day and i think the 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 biggest difference is on the football field like you said you're sharing the field with 21 other people and you're you're in front of a huge crowd like ginormous you know yeah. US Bank Stadium is huge you're kind of disconnected from the crowd honestly cuz there's a lot going on and you're not really connecting with those people like they're just like kind of just yeah. people up there yeah and we can't even see your and face it's, in no a lot of like cases. everything you're covered yeah. like like i said there's so many there's it's like war going on down there just people running and hitting each other like music is like you walk up there and you're that's your job is connect with the audience so like i'm i'm infatuated with everybody there like live 
and I'm I'm the main event. Like it's like so like you have no choice but to you know put on a show in your own in your own context and and kind of connect with the audience. So that's that's the difference. That's the biggest difference is like connecting with the people who are actually there. Because football, you kind of that's all tuned out. That's interesting. You know. Yeah. I mean, you said you have a good good support system. Oh yeah. I mean, for those that have played organized sports, granted, not everyone plays in the NFL, but those that played organized sports, like, th there's some team camaraderie, but there's also kind of like, you know, a little, little, uh -huh. I don't want to say bashing, but yeah, yeah. some hard times can be given. Yeah. Support from the teammates? What's, oh, what's yeah. that like? Um, that was, that's probably the hardest part of this is like, is like, you know, social media and all that stuff, like at first, especially like posting, and I was like, my teammates are gonna see this. Like the people <laughs> I see at work every day, and like we're a yeah. bunch of like jocks, like, you know, tough guys. But it was cool to see a different side of them. Like it ended up being completely opposite. Like they were so supportive of like this side of me, and they still are. Like probably some of my, my biggest supporters, biggest supporters out of everybody is is my teammates. Like they, they're awesome. I think uh, some of them will be at the show, and and um, it's just super. Like, I couldn't be more thankful for the support from them. That's incredible. That's yeah. cool. Okay, we have to talk about your most viral video. Okay. It's it's so sweet. It's you and your grandma. Yeah. Will you walk us through that video and and what what people see there and yeah. why do you think that struck it so big? Um, I think it's just like such a a vulnerable moment for me. Like it was when I first was like exploring my voice, and I was like trying to learn how to play the piano too. And my, my grandma loves music, and she she's thought I've had a good voice since I was, like, young. Even, like, even though it was just around the house, she's always like, you have a good, like, tone. Like, she's a little country, like, southern lady. And, um, yeah, I set my phone up, and I was like, I'm going to get her real quick. Like, I'm going to prank her. And I, like, put it in this flower pot, and I was like, hey, not she was reading. She loves reading, and she was behind me. And I just said, hey, Nana, can I play the piano? And she was like, sure, but like, I didn't tell I was gonna sing too. So I was like, just like, I learned how to play these four chords that just played through the chorus of a song, a, a country song. And I did it, and it was just like a huge reaction by her. Like, and yeah, I posted it, and it just like kind of took off. Like, it was crazy. It was really sweet. It gave yeah. me all the feels. Yeah, I mean, it, was awesome. it took off because we all have the, the grandma look. Yes. And you get the grandma look. Yeah, her yeah. face yeah. snapped. Yeah, yeah. She snapped <laughs> yeah. so hard. Yeah, she, yeah, she stopped what she was doing. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's cool. Amazing. That's wonderful. Well, Blake, thank you very much. Good luck to you. Thank and you, I'm guys. Assuming you're on the social. Where, where can people see Yeah, yeah, you? just under my name, Blake Prohl, on all socials. Okay. Nothing Perfect. fancy. And awesome. your concert is this Saturday? Yeah, this it is Saturday. July 15th. Yeah, this you Saturday. You want to check them out? Fine Line, Minneapolis, great spot for tickets. Head to First Avenue. Dot com. Awesome.